Chinelli family. Welcome back to Chinelli Cares, Yoga Pills for Psychics. As you know, my name is Marta and I am your yoga teacher. This one is the fifth pill, the fifth episode. And today we are going to have fun together working on hips mobility and hips opening. Hips mobility is really important for us because when we cycle, we normally always do the same movement with the legs, with the lower body, and we don't focus on balancing, it's always a matter of balance, reopening, working on improving the flexibility and mobility of the legs and hips. That's why today we are going to work on every kind of movement that's possible with the hips and the legs. So what do you need today? yoga strap you may need it yeah you may you, you may want to use it and if you have a couple of yoga blocks so if you don't have them grab a pillow or anything that you can sit on but they're really really useful while practicing yoga so we're gonna start in butterfly pose uh, Bada Konasana. so we're gonna give you a few variations first just sit on your hips uh, get your feet closer, uh, in touch with each other, and try to let your knees fall down towards the floor. Your feet are not really close to your hips. Bring them a little bit far away, like you can draw a square with your legs. Now, move your hips towards the outside and feel your hips stone touching the floor. You should be, um, you should be able to Push your hips towards the back and chest forward. If it, this posture is not comfortable for you, yoga block, pillow, anything you have. So you can actually sit on your support, on your prop, and try to feel your spine straight. Okay? You should feel really in contact with the breathing if your chest is pushing forward if you're breathing from the frontal part of your spine. Now, whichever vari uh, variation you have picked, inhale, stretch your spine, exhale, drop down. You can just relax down here. You can place your elbows on the floor and place your head, head on your hands, your elbows on your legs, your head on your hands, Whichever variation you feel is, is more comfortable for you to really relax completely. So you have to feel your body opening up just because you're relaxing, because you are letting the muscles, the tendons open without any kind of control now. Breathe here. The more you can exhale completely, the more you can feel you are releasing against the floor, the more your body will open. Nice. Don't worry if you feel pain in your hips. We are trying to work on the center part of the body. We are, we are trying to bring movement and flexibility. Inhale slowly, come up with your, head, with your spine, hands on your knees. Inhale, stretch forward. Really bring your chest forward as much as possible. Lift up your chest. Exhale, round your spine and look at your belly button. Inhale, come forward. Push your chest forward, shoulders back. Open your collarbones. Exhale, suck your stomach in, you round your spine. Look at your belly button. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, round your spine. And then inhale, come forward, arms up. Over your head, stretch your spine, exhale, left hand to the right knee, right hand down on the floor, inhale, twist. If you feel you're more flexible with your right hand, grab your right thigh and twist. Your spine is straight, both hips are on the floor, chin to the left shoulder, to the right shoulder. And every inhale opens the upper part of your spine, every exhale, suck your stomach in and move, and move your belly button towards the left. Inhale, come to the center, arms up over your head, stretch your spine. Exhale, left arm, left hand on the left knee, left hand down on the floor. 
You can stay here, you can grab your right thigh, whichever variation you want, keep your spine straight, shoulders down, chin level, look at your left shoulder, chin to the left shoulder. Open your chest, push your chest more forward, keep your spine straight. Nice, inhale, come to the center, stretch your arms up, cross your legs, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment in this posture to feel the stretch in your spine, bend your knees, move your shoulders toward the outside, hips up towards the ceiling, relax your head. Inhale, right leg up. Lift it up as high as possible, feel the stretch on your right side. You can bend your left knee, get both elbows straight, relax your head. Bend your right knee and for three times move your right leg and rotate your right leg to feel the movement in your right hip. Nice, last one. Oh, nice. Inhale, stretch your right leg up and back. Exhale, slowly bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Bring your, drop your left knee down and bring your left foot down to the floor. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Feel the stretching in your right hip. You are pressing your right big toe onto the floor. Try not to open your right knee to the, to the outside. You close it in. Look forward. Breathe here. So your chest is moving forward. You are not collapsing. You are looking up. Your chin is level. Breathe here. The more you can stay, the more you can sink with your hips. Well done. If you can, walk with your hands a little bit more forward and feel your hips sinking down even more. Indeed, you're feeling a pinch in your right hip and a stretching, a stretching sensation on your left side. Again, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Look forward. Press your left hand against the floor. Inhale. Right arm up. Exhale. Bring your right hand on your right thigh and push away your right knee. Inhale. Chin to the right shoulder. Try to roll on the outside of your right foot. Do not press quickly. You gently, gently, gent be gentle with your right leg so you can actually feel your right hip opening. Sink with your left hip. Breathe here. Nice. If you can, bend your left knee and grab your left foot. Kick back. This is a nice opening. If you're not able to grab your left foot, grab the yoga strap and use it to grab your left foot. Okay, now bend your right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, and try to bring your left heel towards your left hip. Exhale, look down. Inhale, left, uh, right arm up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, walk your legs right and left. Inhale, left leg up. Move it up as high as possible. Bend your right knee a little bit. Stretch your hands. Stretch your elbows. Feel the stretch in the spine. Exhale, bend your left knee and start moving your left leg. Feel the all movement you can, the maximum range of motion for three times. Inhale, stretch your left leg back and up. Exhale, left foot forward on the outside of your left hand. Now, drop down. Sink with your hips. Look forward. You stay here for a few breaths. Your elbows are stretched. Your straight. Your arms are engaged. If you can, walk a little bit more forward and feel the stretch. The stretching you're feeling on your right right thigh. It's really important for us when we cycle. We're always closing forward, so this is really important. We'll dedicate and and. Okay? Maybe the second or third last spill on the psoas. Because it's really important to reopen, to regain mobility in the upper body. 
and then bring your hands below your shoulders. Really press your right hand down towards the floor, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, bring your left hand on your left leg, inhale, twist, push away with your left hand. Oh, nice. Feel the stretch. Rotate to the outside of your left foot. Now bend your right knee, try to grab your right foot and kick back. If you can, try to bring your right heel closer to your right hip. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, downward facing down. Wall here, right and left, right and left. Inhale, come into plank pose, exhale, chaturanga dandana. Inhale, upward facing dog, chest forward, exhale, downward facing dog. Uh, really nice. Inhale, look forward and bring your right foot in between your hands. Let your left foot drop down, 45 degree angle. Press your fingertips down against the floor. Inhale, look forward. Exhale. Warrior two. I'm going to move to the other side so you can see me. So really, open your feet. Try to feel that you can bend your right knee 90 degree angle more or less. Now feel that you are moving your right knee towards the outside. Your left leg is straight. Lift up your left toes. You don't have to, to collapse with the body weight on your left big toe. Instead, you are pressing from the outside of your left foot, engaging your, your left leg. Open your arms, look to the right, and bend your right knee. Inhale, stretch your arms, Opposite direction, open your shoulders, e exhale, squeeze your elbows, try to touch your elbows behind your back, inhale, stretch, exhale, squeeze, inhale, stretch, exhale, squeeze, inhale, stretch, exhale, move to the right, bend your right elbow and place your right elbow on your right knee, look up, left arm up. Try not to sit on your right shoulder. You are pressing against your right knee. Your left arm stretch up towards the ceiling. Push your hips forward, engage your legs. It's like you're feeling like you want to lift up your hips. If you can, as you exhale, bring your right hand in front of your right foot. Press your shoulders against your knee. Look up. As you exhale, left hand over your head and stretch the whole left side of the body. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, the left hand on your left hip. Look up, look down, stretch your right arm forward, place your, ten, your five fingertips onto the floor, press on your five fingertips, inhale, left leg up. Suck your stomach in, feel the center of the body engaged, inhale, left arm up towards the ceiling. If you can, try to bring your right arm on your chest and stay here. Indeed here if you can, if you need, grab a yoga block and place your hand on a yoga block. Exhale, right hand down the floor. Bend your left knee with your left hand, try to grab your right ankle, left ankle, and kick back. Nice. Left leg back, left arm up, bend your right knee, exhale. Warrior two. Inhale, lift up your arms. Exhale, straight your right leg. And Come forward with your arms to the right as you exhale. Right hand on your leg, on the floor, whichever you feel comfortable. Look up, left arm up. Uttita Trikonasana. Push your hips forward, charge your upper body back. You can stay here if you want to try. Right up, stretch forward. 
towards the right. Bend your right knee, exhale. Vira Badrasana 2. You stay here for a couple of breaths. Exhale, straight your right leg and bring your hands on your hips. So you have your legs wide open now. We are going to do God the spot. So open both feet towards the side. Okay? The outside. Try to feel your chest opening and push your hips forward. Exhale. Sit down. Bring your hands on your knees. Look forward. As you exhale, charge your body weight forward. Straight your left leg, bend your right elbow, and bring your chin to the right shoulder. Twist. Sit down and keep pressing your knees towards the outside. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, other side. Feel your legs, your knees bend. Push your chest forward. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, go to the right. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale. Left. Inhale, sit up. And come up. Hands in front of your chest. You stay here for a couple of breaths. Ah, such a nice posture. Bring your hips forward after your upper body back. Stretch your arms forward. Lift up your right arm and bring it below your left arm. Grab with your right hand, grab your right wrist, left wrist. Elbows up, hands forward. Inhale, arch your spine. Keep your knees bent. Breathe here, feel the upper spine opening. Suck your stomach in and sit lower. As you exhale, slowly, come forward with your upper body. Let your forearms drop down towards the floor. Feel the opening in, your, in between your shoulder blades. Bend your knees even more. Stay here. Drop your head. Ah, such a nice sensation on your hips. Inhale, come up again. Stretch your arms up. Exhale. Left arm underneath your right. Grab your right fist. Inhale. Arms up, elbows up. And our hands forward. Inhale, arch. Look up. Suck your stomach in, bend your elbows. Exhale, you go down. Drop your forearms towards the floor, drop your head, bend your knees. Ah, relax in this posture. Nice. Inhale, come back up. Stretch your arms up, exhale, stretch your legs, arms down by your side. We are going to now turn our right foot in, left foot out. Arms up, parallel to the floor, look at your left hand, exhale, bend your left knee. So we are ready for the other side. Try not to forget about the right arm, so it, it is strong. Open your chest. Bend your left knee. Lift up your left, your right toes. Inhale, stretch your arms opposite direction. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Last two. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Inhale, stretch, exhale, left elbow on your left knee, stretch your right arm up. Chest forward, push your hips forward, stretch your right arm, your right arm. It is really stretching up, chin to the shoulder. You can stay here or bring your left hand up. Exhale, arms over your head, chin to the right shoulder. Feel the stretch in the all right side. I felt a really strong clock on my back. That's nice. Inhale, right hand up. Up, exhale. Bring your right hand on your right hip. Look forward. Bring your hand forward. Inhale. Come up with your right leg. 
Bend your left knee a little bit so you can feel you are more grounded. Lift up your right arm, stretch up towards the ceiling. If you can, left hand on the floor, on the chest. Nice. Exhale, left leg down. Bend your right knee and try to grab your heel. Kick. Open your chest. Nice. Right arm up. Exhale. Bend your left knee and come again into warrior two. Inhale, stretch your arms. Exhale. Stretch your left leg. Inhale, arms up a little bit. Exhale, stretch forward. And exhale, place your left hand on your uh, calf, on the floor. Try not to collapse. You have to feel that you are able to push your hips forward, upper body back, and straight both arms. Uttita Trikonasana. Nice. In this posture, it's really easy to have a discomfort in the neck if we look up. If so, look forward or even look down as you wish. You can stay here or stretch your left arm forward. Bend your left knee. Exhale. Warrior two. Nice. Inhale. Plank pose. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Urva Mukha Svanasana. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Look forward. Come up on your tippy toes. Exhale. Bend your knees and jump. Come sit on the floor. Again. Touch your feet. Press your feet one against the other. Place. Sorry. I'm going to move this. Place your hands on the floor. Inhale. Stretch forward. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this exercise as better. So, we are going to inhale, stretch forward, exhale, Navasana. Inhale, chest forward, exhale, Navasana. Inhale, stretch forward, exhale, Navasana. Five times. Try to, when you are in Navasana, knees together, chest forward, spine straight. When you press, your hands against the floor. Try to bring your chest forward. Okay? Let's start together five times. So press, chest forward, inhale, exhale, Navasana. And two, and Navasana. And three, Navasana. Four, suck your stomach in, Navasana. Five, already, Navasana. And come back. Nice. Bring your feet a little bit forward. Try to have the joining of your feet right in the middle of your body. Bring your left foot and bring it towards the inside of your right thigh. Bring your hands on the floor. Inhale, stretch your spine. As you exhale, charge forward. Try to keep your spine straight. Relax completely your right leg. You can also start walking forward with your hands. Come forward, forward, forward. Nice. If you can, even more. Do not collapse with your chest. You are always breathing. You are always moving from the frontal part of your spine. Inhale, come up. Again, bring your feet together, and now bring your right foot towards the inside of your life, uh, your left leg. Hands on the floor. Inhale, stretch. Indeed, here if you need, you can sit on a block. Sorry about Ziggy. Inhale, stretch as you exhale, come forward. Relax your, right, your left leg. You can walk forward with your hands and stretch forward. So you're trying to touch the little hole we have here at the bottom of the, of the throat on the 
uh, here on your left big toe. Try to stretch forward. Nice. Inhale. Come up. Bring your feet together again. Press your feet one against the other. Chest forward. Grab your knees. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale. Come forward. You can bring your elbows pressing against your knees so you can bring your chest forward. And we'll inhale forward. Stay here. Relax your knees down. Press with your feet. Feel the stretch in the lower spine. Feel the stretch in your hips. From here, if you can. Grab your feet with your hands, stretch even more forward with your chest. And once you reach your maximum, drop your head and breathe. Inhale, stretch your spine, look up, exhale, release the pose. Nice, now you're gonna. Grab your left ankle and bring your left foot towards the outside of both hips. Bring your right foot and bring it over your left knee. You should feel that you are sitting on both hips, not just the left one. Both hips are down. Interlace your ten fingers, press your chest forward, inhale and twist towards the right. Nice. If you can, you can grab your Inner, left inner thigh with your right hand. Keep twisting your spine, chin to the right foot. Inhale. Come back to the center. Bring your feet together again. And then you grab your right ankle and bring it to the outside of your hips. Bring your left foot and bring it over your right knee. Sit on both hips, chest forward, inhale, stretch, and twist towards the left. Keep your spine straight, both hips are on the floor. Press with your right knee, so you are actually bringing your, your left knee in and you're twisting your spine, if you can. You bring your left hand back. Inhale, look forward. Release your posture. Get your feet together, but try to give space. So bring your feet little bit forward as you exhale, run your spine and relax your back on the floor. From here, try to feel, try to find a posture where you can still have your feet together, but your knees and legs are completely relaxed, so you're not feeling any tension. You have to relax completely in this posture. If you have a block, you don't need it anymore. And then you're going to Place your hands on your belly, squeeze your shoulder blades, close your eyes and relax here. The more you stay, the more you can relax. And maybe you will be able to bring your feet a little bit closer to your hips and still relax completely your knees towards the outside. Inhale. Exhale. You stay here. Relax completely in Shavasana. In this variation of Shavasana. Try to stay for at least a couple of minutes. Feel the hips, the legs, the thighs. We have been moving the lower body. So really try to feel the energy going through your body. It's been a pleasure to guide you through class today. Hope I'll see you again next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.